Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about glutathione, the alpha molecule for health and weight loss. Glutathione is a potent antioxidant produced by our cells, often called the alpha molecule due to its power. The, the structure of glutathione is relatively simple and comprises of only three amino acids, glutamine, cysteine, and glycine. But this molecule, as simple as its structure might be, is one of the most potent antioxidants in our body. It, it mostly protects our cells from toxicity and oxidative damage. Glutathione also maintains redox homeostasis, which is the capacity our cells have for dealing with challenges coming from a wide variety of stressors and toxins. So in healthy people, glutathione is found in very high concentrations in most cells, even though producing high levels of this molecule requires a lot of metabolic activity. And this just goes to emphasize the importance of this molecule for supporting our health, how much it's needed in each and every cell of ours. Unfortunately, glutathione levels may drop significantly as a result of several factors, and these factors include a poor diet, stress, and an overwhelming amount of environmental toxins. Now, in the modern world of today, glutathione's ability to fight toxins is more critical than ever due to the pollution levels that exist in almost every city around the globe and to the, due to the toxins that enter our bodies from virtually all of the products we use and the foods that we consume. So let's take a look at some other ways glutathione benefits our body before we talk about how we can increase the levels of glutathione in our body. So first of all, glutathione's positive effect on our health and weight. Most importantly, glutathione has the ability to lessen oxidative stress on the cells, which provides it with an indirect ability to reduce the risk of various diseases that come as a result of oxidative stress, including heart disease, stroke, neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and ALS and Huntington's, and Huntington's diseases and autoimmune diseases as well. Now, a, uh, glutathione is vital for mitochondrial function, the energy power plant of our cells. Studies have shown that glutathione can have an impact on liver cell damage caused by alcoholic and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Glutathione can reduce the damage as it improves protein, bilirubin, and enzyme levels in the blood. Now, an older study has found that glutathione can improve circulation as it enabled participants in the study to walk pain-free despite having peripher peripheral artery disease which affected their legs. Now, when it comes to body weight, scientists are finding connections between glutathione levels and weight loss. A study has found this connection in people who have followed dietary therapies for metabolic syndrome conditions, which include increased blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, excess belly fat, and abnormal cholesterol and triglyceride levels that together increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. So glutathione actually helps people also lose weight and achieve all the benefits that come with weight loss. Also, glutathione might have the ability to reduce the effects of other symptoms of several other disorders, including inf inflammatory bowel syndrome, allergies, and even improves HIV, um, people suffering from HIV, improved symptoms. Now, glutathione is also an effective anti-aging molecule. Glutathione levels tend to decline as we age, unfortunately, but it does, glutathione does help uh, prevent this decline. It helps even reduce the graying of our hair, as well as being involved in other age-related diseases like hearing impairment, glaucoma, cataract, and macular degeneration. Glu glutathione also offers brain and cell protection from toxic metals like mercury and other metals. Now, adequate uh, glutathione levels also prevent nail biting in adults and in children. <laughs> now, all of this shows how vital the molecule is for our bodies. Now, since glutathione levels drop as we age and during stress and poor dietary habits, thankfully, you can increase the levels of glutathione in your body by following these several tips. So, how do we increase glutathione levels in our body? First of all, one should aim to increase the need for glutathione by reducing the toxic load. Now, other ways that increase levels of glutathione naturally include the consumption of specific foods, herbs, supplementation, and through beneficial lifestyle habits. Now, let's look into these. The foods and herbs that can boost glutathione production in cells include cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy, cabbage, kale, and Brussels sprouts. 
foods rich in plant uh, the plant polyphenol fisetine, including red apples, uh, red grapes, and strawberries, which upregulate glutathione production, as well as garlic and onions, of, uh, especially when they're consumed raw. Legumes, nuts, flax seeds, almonds provide very much benefit in, in increasing glutathione levels, as well as seaweed and milk thistle. Now, the lifestyle habits that boost glutathione levels include getting sufficient sleep because insomnia has been found to have adverse effects on glutathione levels. Also, preventing exposure to toxins when possible, including toxins in hygiene and cleaning products. You also want to limit alcohol consumption and you definitely want to meditate, which has been shown to increase glutathione levels by 20%. Now, supplementation to increase glutathione levels involves um, supplementing with alpha lipoic acid, which has been shown to increase mitochondrial glutathione levels. Also supplementing with N-acetylcysteine, NAC for short, because cysteine availability is a rate limiting step in the production of glutathione. And also direct supplementation with glutathione is not as effective on a regular basis due to its antioxidant properties. It has a very short lifespan, but it is excellent in hospital settings for Parkinson's, COPD, cystic fibrosis, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now, athletes also may benefit from supplementing with glutathione uh, only after extreme exercise bouts. Now, supporting your body to produce sufficient levels of this molecule is critical for the proper functioning of the whole body. It is the perfect anti-aging molecule and supporting its presence in sufficient quantities in the body is crucial uh, for the um, healthy aging and a healthy life at all ages. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notifications every time I upload a video. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you like best about this video. I, I will answer your comments. Uh, and thank you very much for joining.